for being willing to work in Falls Village. All right, recording started. All set. Okay, it's 7, 7.05 p.m. December 19th, 2023 in City Hall, 140 Main Street, Torrington, Connecticut. Time to call the City of Torrington and the Wetlands Commission to order. Serving on the commission this evening are members Christine Altman, Adrian Barb, Joe Paganini, Stephen Thompson, myself, Jay Bate. Also present is Nate Nardi Cyrus, Inland Wetlands Enforcement Officer and Assistant City Planner. Okay, next is the minutes for approval for the. And we already did the special meeting, didn't we? Yeah, the special meeting is already done, so no need for that. Um, Luna was out the past couple of weeks, so we she still hasn't finished the minutes from the regular meeting. Okay. Um, so she asked that those be tabled. Okay. Um, and they could be reviewed prior to the next meeting. Can I have a motion to table that? I move that we table. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, next old business. Applicant Mike Perigini, location 811 Torrenford Street, assessor map 144, block 002, lot 002, activity construction of house within Upland regulated area. So this was an application that was received. I see um, the permit number is a six. So it was received in June um, and it's uh, gone through the process and exhausted uh, all of the approvals for that without uh, the requested modifications um, per the city engineer comments. Um, so basically you're in a situation where the time for decision is today. Um, and so my recommendation would be to deny the permit application um, because of incomplete information. Um, I did email Mike today um, to inform him of that, but I've been in close communication the whole time. It looked like he just had issues with securing an engineer to do the modifications, and you know, it's likely that he'll resubmit at some point soon. Uh, so I move that we deny a permit to Mike Perigini, 811 Torringford Street for construction of a house within an upland regulated area due to insufficient information as requested by the commission. I have a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. Okay, next applicant, James Mazzarelli. Location 137 Babbling Brook Road, Assessor Map 221, Block 003, Lot 054. Activity piping, 130 feet of water course, creation of armed ponds, ponds before and after pipe stream and backfilling of adjacent wetlands to extend lawn. Um, so where this was left, um, we had the special meeting as a site visit after the application was received. Um, Mr. Mazzarelli's consultant, George Logan, did not attend the subsequent meeting, though he was on the site visit to answer questions um, or at least, you know, provide context to the site visit. Uh, during the meeting in November, um, the, not the special meeting that was the site visit, but the subsequent meeting, uh, the commission discussed, you know, based on the site visit, some potential questions that they might have for Mr. Logan and some modifications to be made. Um, I provided those to Mr. Logan a few days after that that meeting uh, and didn't hear anything back from him until this, this past week. Uh, he then provided me with an, a revised plan yesterday, um, which didn't give me a whole lot of time to review it. Um, but even before I got that far, Mr. Mazzarelli chimed in in an in email that he wanted to seek counsel and felt like this process was unfair and that he wanted to explore his legal options. Um, they had also, um, this application had also required uh, a, a, um, an extension of time um, because he had maxed out on the normal period of time to make a decision. So he requested the full 65 days that's allowed by by statute, um, which would put him out to the January meeting to make a decision. So um, it, it, it appears to me based on commission discussion that 
the commission is close and that it's likely possible to be able to make a decision for the January meeting if in fact he does um, you know, proceed with his application. I'm not sure that if he would withdraw or mm -hmm. allow the approval and not comply, it's, it's kind of unclear as to what he wants to do. So uh, I spoke to George Logan today um, and he said that he recommend or he he would like to table the application until Mr. Mazzarelli can weigh his options and then um, bring it back in, for the January meeting. Okay. We need a motion to table. Move that we table the application for James Mazzarelli for 137 Babbling Brook Road, Assessor Map 221, Block 3, Lot 54 for piping of 130 feet of water course, course creation of armored ponds before and after piped stream and backfilling of adjacent wetlands to extend lawn. I have a second. I'll, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 A motion carries. Okay, next, applicant Jim Mazzarelli, location, location 516 Mountain Road, activity jurisdictional determination application. So at the prior meeting, the commission reviewed Mr. Mazzarelli's basic application for a, um, a jurisdiction, jurisdictional determination um, for an agricultural exemption for his property. Uh, based on my recommendation uh, and the review of the materials, the commission requested more information from Mr. Mazzarelli as far as how his activities, what his plan activities were, how they related to agriculture and and how, you know, those activities that affected the wetlands. Um, I called him after that meeting and communicated that to him, in which case he said he would not comply and that we would have to come after him for this. Um, since since that meeting, I, I, I did have further discussions internally because he's his um, PA 490, which is the uh, current use tax law that, you know, grants him an agricultural exemption for taxes or deferment or um, partial um they don't have information either and we're looking for basically the same kind of documentation um and you know after discussion with the mayor about it and the fact that we want to really coordinate and make sure he gets that material in um we figured it would probably be a better idea if the commission would allow it to have him rather than sending him a cease and desist try to bring him his wife is the owner of the property and has not been involved in the conversations at all thus far um, and have the mayor kind of mediate a discussion to try to get him to provide the materials to move forward. Because um, I think it, it wouldn't necessarily be a difficult thing. It's just turning into a big uh, thing. So, um, you know, if, if my recommendation to the commission is to, to table this application. There's no timeline that I'm aware of as far as having to act on a jurisdictional determination although there's likely some case law on it, but I don't think that Mr. Mazzarelli is going to object if we're trying to find a solution without uh, a, a cease and desist and, and legal action. Hey, can I have a motion to table? I move that we table Jim Mazzarelli, 516 Mountain Road for jurisdictional determination application. I have a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Hey, motion carries. All right, new business. <laughs> Applicant AJK LLC, location 3350 Winstead Road, assessor map 242, block 003, lot 001. Activity renewal permit application for gravel processing, recycled materials handling, screening, crushing, reprocessing of recycled materials within regulated area. Um, so this application for renewal came in uh, on the basically on the same day as the November wetlands meeting. Uh, the material, so we didn't have to full time to review the materials. Uh, the materials that were submitted for the renewal, um, uh, in my opinion, based on a, a site visit that I conducted this summer, um, do not indicate. The conditions on the ground so they're resubmitting a permit application that was issu issued in 2009 and since that time being on the site and looking at a comparison of aerial photos there's been extensive filling in what they're calling wetlands in this old site plan 
So at the very least, there needs to be a new site plan proposed. Um, uh, and, and my recommendation for this was going to be to deny based on material changes to the application. So, you know, in that case, you can deny a, a renewal if it's not the same activity. Uh, the representative for AJK called today to say that they're going to withdraw the application based on my recommendation to deny the, the, the permit renewal. Uh, and we have a meeting scheduled for December 28th with other land use staff, um, myself, um, Danny Stoughton, which is the owner of AJK and his representatives and PAC group, which, you know, is you, if you reviewed the materials, they are looking to potentially develop a project on this site and have some preliminary concept designs. So, um, so this application has been formally withdrawn and there's no need to take any action on it. Um, but something will come back because there are violations and it's likely that we'll ha I'll have to issue a show cause cease and desist because really they they can't legally be working on that site. Um, they don't have a wetlands permit since it's expired and they don't have planning and zoning approval. Um, so it, it really he can't be doing anything there, but it's it's very likely that there's still activity going on on the site. A lot of information here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, applicant Alfano Group LLC, Seven Eagle Ridge, mod activity modification to redesign approved restoration plan. So this was a permit um, that was issued for a single family home. Uh, once work started on there, there was numerous wetlands violations that required restoration. Uh, so this home has been completed physically, but it does not have a CO because we will not sign off on it until restoration is complete on the site um, to the commission satisfaction. Uh, so we do have a little bit of leverage in this case. Um, so he had uh, hired an environmental consultant to do a plan. Uh, the commission reviewed the plan with some minor modifications to it and approved it this past fall. Um, uh, Mr. Alfano seemed to be having trouble moving the house with with how the plan had described the site layout. Uh, and so he's commissioning another restoration specialist to redesign it yet again to something that he feels it, he could move easier as a as a home. So uh, he provided some he provided a basic application showing, a change from boulders that were placed to delineate the wetland to a split rail fence, which seemed reasonable, um, but also some mod modifications to the plantings, um, which, which you know, anyway, it's almost not even worth, it's not worth getting into. Uh, that was the original application. He'd like to redesign it. So he's asking the commission to table his application so that he can submit a redesign um, uh, to be reviewed at a later date. And this application just came in for this meeting, so there's no need for extensions or anything. Uh, he's starting the process fresh, okay. so it would just be a motion to table. Love this meeting. Yeah, <laughs> could have just tabled the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I move that we table Alfano Group LLC for 87 Eagle Ridge modification to redesign approved restoration plan. I have a second. I second. All in favor. Hi. Hi. Carries. Okay. Next, the staff report. Um, enforcement report, uh, you know, the, the bigger things uh, were uh, Mountain Road, which is currently being resolved. Um, we did have another uh, um, an extensive amount of clearing within wetlands and upland review area at the end of Gerdat Road that I stumbled upon completely accidentally uh, reviewing aerial photos. Um, I sent a notice that landowner met me on site. We discussed, you know, next steps and in, in getting a restoration plan and, and a wetlands uh, soil scientist to do a delineation of the wetlands. Uh, he said he would do that and in the meantime, install soil and erosion controls. This is an area that's, it's over an acre of just clear Where cut. Is it at? What? Where is it at? It's the last house on the left before you get to the state forest. Okay. Uh, and there's a so pond. Meyer Road. Yes, and there's a pond at the very bottom of it 
And then the land on the other side is that very large parcel that's for sale um, that goes all the way down to um, Newfield Road. Um, yeah, beautiful piece of land there, but it, it abuts that for the pond. But he cleared all the way down there. There was no soil and erosion controls, uh, basically a hill slope clear cut right into the wetland and cleared into the wetland fringe around the pond. So, um, you know, he just didn't recognize that he needed permits and has been compliant thus far. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, and then agent determinations. We had a, a new single family home up on University Drive from a subdivision that was done up there some years ago before you reach John Brown Road on the left hand side. Um, so uh, th that doesn't involve any wetlands crossings. It's just in the upland review area. So that was done as an agent determination. Okay, hey, I guess what's left is adjourned. I move we adjourn. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.